Everyone wants a large dog for protection. If you live in a dangerous neighborhood, you would want a companion to secure your property and protect you from unwanted guests. If you're looking for a watchdog at home, there are countless dogs to choose from, including the Cane Corso and the Dogo Argentino. Is one better than the other as a guard dog? The Cane Corso and the Dogo Argentino are serious dog breeds for serious owners. They are two of the most powerful and athletic dogs that work well with responsible handlers. These breeds can be fierce hunters and protectors of homes and families. With a strong prey drive, they need consistent exercise to ensure their mental health. But these are not the only characteristics of these dogs that you need to know. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the best and largest watchdogs on the planet, the Cane Corso and the Dogo Argentino. Which is better as guard dog in a dangerous neighborhood? Appearance The Cane Corso has a very large head and rectangular heavy body. It has a strong, muscular build that adds to the elegance of their body. The Cane Corso's muzzle is deep and broad and it has a muscular neck that is slightly arched. These dogs come in various colors, such as black, red, fawn, and gray. Their hair is short, but it becomes thicker in the winter months. The Dogo Argentino, on the other hand, has a short, smooth coat. This breed has a white coat with a dark patch on its eyes. However, this can cover more than 10% of their body, depending on their genes. The Dogo Argentino has a massive head, which accentuates its alert eyes and sturdy body. Its ears are generally cut. However, some kennels recommend keeping their natural ear length. Origin The Cane Corso comes from the Mastiff line. It was developed in Italy and is known to descend from Roman war dogs. They were initially bred to participate in hunting games, to guard property, and to help out on farms. Although there was a decline in the breeding of Corsos, Sir Michael Scotile imported a litter to the United States in 1988 in hopes to breed them and popularize them. It wasn't until 1993 that the International Cane Corso Association was created to generate the ideal traits and appearance of the dog. The Dogo Argentino is a descendant of the extinct fighting dog of Cordoba. Antonio Martinez from Argentina wanted a large, fearless dog to help him with hunting. So, in the 1920s, Martinez applied selective breeding to suppress the dog's fighting nature and gear its personality to following an alpha in the pack. Several breeds were mixed to try and create the Dogo Argentino that people have today. Thanks to their methods, people experience the even-tempered nature of this dog without worrying much about their aggression. Size The male Cane Corso can grow from 24 to 27 inches and can weigh up to 110 pounds. The females, on the other hand, can grow up to 25 inches and can weigh up to 99 pounds. For the Argentinos, males can grow up to 27 inches, weighing up to 100 pounds, while females can grow up to 26 inches and can weigh up to 88 pounds. Lifespan Both of these dogs are generally healthy, considering their size. The Cane Corso can live for 10 to 12 years, while the Dogo Argentino can live from 10 to 15 years. Can you imagine how many years of experience you can have together? You can take them on trips and hikes. With their help as hunters, you can never go hungry. Personality the Cane Corso is always ready to take on challenges. It's athletic and active in nature. With a firm and confident handler, they can grow up fearless yet loving. But in the wrong hands, they can be aggressive and dangerous. The Dogo Argentino, on the other hand, is bred as a fighting dog. So it's not a surprise that they show aggression. However, with proper handling, they can show their courage and strength doing more productive activities, such as helping with household chores and hunting. 
Both of these dogs make outstanding hunters and protectors. They are caring and affectionate breeds, provided they are trained and socialized at an early age. Shedding Both the Dogo Argentino and the Cane Corso are low-shedding breeds. They are short-coated, which are best for people with allergies. However, they can be prone to heat spots. So, it is important to keep their coat in check and understand proper grooming procedures. Grooming These dogs are easier to groom compared to others. You just need a soft bristle to brush their hair and remove dirt. It's also important to check their nails regularly and trim them. Overgrowth and cracks could lead to mild to severe discomfort. Hence, you need to check these regularly to keep their nails at a comfortable length. According to veterinarians, it's important to have their ears checked. Since these dogs are prone to ear mites and ear infections, it's best to keep their ears clean, especially after a long day of playing outdoors. Intelligence When it comes to intelligence, the Cane Corso is rated 5 out of 5. These are highly intelligent creatures with a bossy nature. They have leadership potential that they carry anywhere they go. However, there are tendencies when they overstep their boundaries. They have the ability to dominate households. This is why training is important for these dogs. The Dogo Argentino, on the other hand, is rated 3 out of 5 in terms of intelligence. They are strong-willed individuals who are welcoming to strangers and dogs. These dogs require regular mental stimulation to keep them satisfied. This is why daily walks are important for their physical and mental well-being. Trainability When it comes to trainability, Cane Corsos are more submissive to command. They can learn basic dog etiquette as a pup, like sit and stay. However, since they tend to be dominant, they can be stubborn. They will try to control you. Sometimes they even test you to see how far you're willing to tolerate their behavior. The Dogo Argentino, however, is more difficult to train, but with patience and firm handling, you can teach them basic tricks. Remember to remain respectful to the breed while training. Some make the mistake of applying derogatory means for discipline. This will only make your dog more aggressive. Temperament The Cane Corso is easily bored. This breed doesn't want to lay around all day waiting for food. This makes them restless and bored. If you don't give them purpose, they can expend their energy on destructive behavior such as chewing, biting, and digging holes in your china collection. The Dogo Argentino is more even-tempered. They are more reserved and timid. These dogs do not usually show aggression unless something provokes them. However, they can be destructive if they don't get proper exercise. This is why regular training is necessary for both of these dogs so you can suppress their fierce and hostile natures. Family Life Both of these breeds need a firm and confident owner. With proper handling, you can unleash their sensitive and protective side. You can gear their strength to promote security in the household, rather than to be destructive. With plenty of exercise and mental stimulation, you can raise calm and loving dogs. Apartment Living The Cane Corso and the Dogo Argentino cannot live in confined spaces like apartments. They thrive in open spaces like yards to play on. If they live in small areas, they tend to be bored and restless. Note that these dogs are bred as hunters and fighters. They have a strong prey drive that makes them active and intense. Friendliness towards strangers The Cane Corso is more reserved and doubtful about other people. So don't expect them to be welcoming towards strangers. They don't usually buddy up with everyone they meet. Other people and animals do not interest them unless they are family or family friends. The Dogo Argentino, on the other hand, is more welcoming to strangers with supervision, of course. However, they can be overly protective when they sense that other people are out to get their families. Because of their vigilance, they might mistake jokes as an attack. If this happens, they can attack strangers which could be dangerous. 
This is why socialization is needed so they can accustom themselves to various activities. Watchdog Ability When it comes to watchdog ability, both of these dogs are outstanding. They're both territorial, which makes them protective and vigilant. The Cane Corso and the Dogo Argentino are fierce defenders. They are suspicious of everyone who comes by the house. This makes them outstanding guard dogs. With their presence, no criminal will attempt to break into your humble abode. Tolerance to weather. Because of their short coat, these dogs cannot tolerate cold. Many homeowners make the mistake of leaving them outside during rainy and cold weather. Little do they know that they can get sick because of this. They can tolerate warm temperatures a lot better, but this doesn't mean that you can leave them under the scorching heat of the sun. Like humans, they deserve the comfort of an even-tempered room to avoid any health issues. Health Both these dogs are generally healthy. However, they can be prone to other diseases. The Cane Corso, for example, is prone to bone and joint problems. The Argentino, however, is prone to hypothyroidism, glaucoma, and paralysis. Vets usually administer full body examinations and x-rays to help prevent these illnesses. Caring for these dogs usually costs $700 to $1,000 annually. Seeing how large and active they are, they need more food and nutrients to keep their bodies healthy. Other than their exercise and training needs, caring for the Dogo Argentino and the Cane Corso is easy. With consistency and determination, you can unleash their protectiveness, loyalty, and affection. Thanks for watching. Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come, and we'll see you next time.